Hey guys, Sickle Mania here, uh, shooting an update on my phytoplankton farm. Um, had a couple problems basically with uh, batches dying. Not really sure how it happened. I haven't done anything different from the time before. Uh, Mad Hatter Reef uh, basically posted, uh, me and him have been communicating through comments on uh, his phytoplankton build and uh, basically came to the conclusion that it might be uh, me not properly thoroughly cleaning these out or um, taking cultures from the fridge. I had been taking uh, some cultures from the fridge because uh, one culture ended up dying. And the reason why it died was I was basically experimenting. I had one culture that had been uh, one week old, it was almost black like coffee, and I just wanted to see what would happen if I added more Miracle Grow at that point and let it grow for another week long. It ended up surviving three more days and uh, basically died. Um, the other time that it happened, I uh, basically had a culture in here. It was too hot, it got up to like, I don't know, 90 degrees in here. I actually did it with uh, this door closed. So I lost that culture that way. And uh, then I lost that culture, or another culture, by taking one out of the fridge. So, um, not really sure, oh yeah, now I know. One died because I didn't have proper uh, water movement in there. So what I did is I went ahead and split it into a series of three with little uh, T-barbs and ball valves, and I'm trying to see if I can get these uh, to grow right here. Um, this batch right here was the one that I, I split into three, but it was almost jet black in three days. So hopefully tomorrow night we'll see a big difference in color. So I'll go ahead and get in here, try to let you guys see the color of all these. I don't know if you guys can see. But uh, we'll see how much darker these guys are in the morning. Alright guys, it's been 12 hours since uh, that last video of me uh, just putting the system together. Um, getting kind of concerned. Maybe uh, this bottle right here is dying off and this so is this one. I noticed that this one has an air stone in it seems to work a lot better than just the straws in here but uh, basically when it came down here there's a lot of settlement down here on the bottom so uh, I just did a quick change put in a big Optima air pump on there and uh, let's hope for the best because this is all I have left uh, so I don't know if you guys can tell if it is any darker but it looks like it's slightly darker, so let's hope for the best. Hey guys, fourth day on the phytoplankton. Looks like the first bottle is done. The second bottle is almost done, probably be done tomorrow night. And the third bottle looks like it's going to be about two days. Um, as you guys can see, this one's way more darker than this one. Well, I put more phytoplankton in this one than this one and very little in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this batch right here, split it uh, so I can start feeding my hot tub. So I'll shoot another video tomorrow. Well, hey guys, here's the last day of the phytoplankton grow. Um, as you guys can see, I have split this culture. I have the other culture in the fridge. And uh, we're starting over on that one. This one's the same, and so is this one. As you guys can tell, that one has been getting darker, and so is this one. So it looks like we did really good on this grow. Uh, me and Mad Hatter Reef have been talking about ways to test for nitrates and phosphates. You know, and the one concern that I had was uh, basically testing 
the uh, solution here with uh, a color test. How how do we uh, how do we know if the if the color is yellow or orange or red? So uh, he advised that we use test strips. So uh, if anybody out there has done that on a phytoplankton grow, let me know. Um, my biggest thing that I'm worried about is uh, phosphates, because uh, if I remember right, there is 7% phosphate in here, 1.2 nitrogen and nitrate, so uh, that's a percentage on, let's see, I guess that's the whole 9.8 ounces. So that's all of it. So 7%, I'd have to do the math on uh, basically one milliliter, but it's a pretty low amount. So uh, not too concerned about that. And another thing too is while the phytoplankton's growing, that number is going to continue to drop uh, substantially. So uh, maybe uh, what I need to do is get the uh, test strips. I know they're kind of inaccurate, but that's the only way that I would think uh, to be able to test it and be able to see the color, not in a vial, but on a strip. So we'll do that on one of the batches that I have in the fridge that's completely black. And uh, I'll go ahead and post this video on YouTube, and then we'll do a follow-up on this, and I'll post the link below. So let me get uh, some days ahead of this video after I post, and then I will uh, post the description or the link down below in the description. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you guys have a better way of me doing this, let me know. And I will keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching, guys.